I'm here with Tahir Bashir, and we continue our series of segments on uh, digital service providers. So hi, Tahir, and thanks for joining. Thanks for having me on the show. And so today we're going to talk about deals. Uh, and so first of all, uh, deals between uh, digital service providers and rights holders can be very complicated, and uh, you know it can be quite a mess. So how do you start the conversation so that it doesn't hit a roadblock right away? Yeah, uh, from the digital service provider's perspective, uh, get the um, get the content owner to buy into the product itself, but the service itself. So uh, uh, I think before going into deal structures, you need to get them to understand that what you're trying to do. And then in terms of uh, speeding up that deal conversation, um, take control of the deal itself. Yeah. So uh, tell, make sure you know your own business model. Make sure that you've thought through your business model um, and uh, present them with uh, something that that perhaps works for them. You know, one thing that uh, you know I try and uh, encourage DSPs to do is to you know work from a blank sheet in yeah. terms of the deal itself. Don't try and fit your model into an already existing model because quite often that causes problems. Uh, your your deal should reflect what you do. Yeah. And so, uh, like, would you suggest, for example, uh, running through doing a, a more simple term sheet? Uh, to begin with the, the conversation, and then filling that with the filling the gaps in with all the sort of legal legalese, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the term sheet or the heads of agreement yeah. approach is a good approach because ultimately you're breaking down, you know, the, where you're going to be using the rights for how long you're going to be using the rights, how you're going to pay, whether there's upfront payments or guarantees, um, what base the, the the payments are based on, whether yeah. it's you know, based on a share of profits or there's a you know, minimum guarantees or minimum stream values. So the heads of are really what everyone concentrates on first. Once you've got past that layer, then you can kind of move to the longer form. Yeah. And how do you deal with uh, looking at the future? You know, of course, uh, you have to think uh, when you're making a deal both uh, of, of both potential outcomes, uh, both, uh, you know, if, if you're a new company, whether you're going to blow up and, you know, how that uh, the, the terms that you are signing up to uh, scale uh, to, to a, a much larger audience, mm -hmm. but also on the other end, if your uh, venture doesn't go well, uh, how do you deal with that and what's the potential fallout uh, from the contract? So mm -hmm. how, how do, you, do, you, do you take care of those two potential eventualities in, in a negotiation? Yeah, I mean, it's not a level playing field when you're acting for a digital service provider because ultimately you need content yeah. and the content only comes from a certain number of sources. So in terms of how much leverage you have to control that future planning, uh, sometimes it's not in your hands. But there are things that you can do. Um, what you try and do is uh, effectively think about things like you know um, targets, yeah. work ag against targets so you have different rates until you get to that target and different rates when you get beyond that target. Um, you know, uh, uh, it, you know, from a digital service provider, this concept of upfront payments and upfront guarantees is a very difficult thing to do. So unless you've got the funding, that's a hard thing to do. So rather than going down that route, um, being a bit more uh, uh, open to the concept of if you hit your targets then there are you know perhaps a, a bigger payment at that stage yeah. so uh, the the use of the rights is really important as well because if you future plan if future planned your service and you think where it's going ideally you try and get the rights for all those different things in reality you probably have to take baby steps first because uh, ultimately you're trying to buy the confidence of the rights holder so ultimately getting all the rights in one go at the start for minimum payment very difficult yeah. so get the rights that you need which then has a knock-on impact on what you have to pay and then build on that but build in things like review periods discussions on potential uses into your deal so that it's in the mindset of the rights holder that you know you're going to come back to the table to discuss these other initiatives of course well thank you very much until the next segment thank you very much